guess we'll start with the hard question. What position do you play this week? <laughs> uh, I'll be playing receiver this week again. What's it been like for you getting back to receiver? Uh, it's um, It's been a lot of fun. You know, I grew up playing receiver, as y'all know, and then playing defense. It's just like another refresher going back to uh, receiver again. When did the coaches approach you with the idea of moving back, and how did you react? Um, after the Tennessee game um, on that Sunday, I came and watched film and uh, met with Kiffin, Coach Kiffin and um, just uh, the offense, how we down a couple guys in the receiver core and I'm an athlete and I know both sides of the ball and I've played, I've been, I'm able to play both sides of the ball. So it was just the opportunity, another opportunity and I just took it. Did you expect to be as involved in the game plan week one back as, as you ended up being? Uh, not initially, but, you know, I kind of learned the plays on the fly and um, I was able to learn them. So it wasn't much of a surprise going out there. Frustrate is not the right word, but is it um, is it difficult to keep moving back and forth from a continuity standpoint, from a, you know, projecting your future past this level standpoint? Uh, yeah, right. Um, I, in the future, I still see myself as a corner, but Right now, I feel like that this just shows how versatile of a player and how good of an athlete I am. So, it seemed like you were making some real strides at corner. Is that the case? Yeah, uh, I feel though as I was. Does that get? Do you do any work at corner now? Is it just one hundred percent receiver? Um, I do most of my corner. Work. I do it like after practice or after hours right now. Since I'll be playing receiver this week, I'm kind of focusing on that. But I still keep up with my tech, uh, working on my technique and everything, and still I still do film work on. Um, the team we're going to play on defense too. So. Okay, that was kind of my question. So just for clarity, you're not working exclusively at receiver this week. You're right. Working well, both sides. In practice, I'm exclusively working at receiver, but in my personal time, I'm still working at corner. Okay. Lane came in here yesterday and said that he didn't even know that you guys were bowl eligible. That wasn't something that he was really thinking about. Have you sort of noticed that shift to, to bigger goals with this team? Yeah, you know, I feel like maybe last year, if we would have hit six wins, we would have been really excited. But now we're just, we're looking more towards, you know, those bigger bowls or those the playoffs, really. We're not really just worried about being bowl eligible. We're trying to go, we go one and no every, every week. So how much of Tension. You're the first player, coach, anything that's come in here and uttered the word playoffs. How much attention do you uh, do you guys give to that big picture? I mean, I know you guys don't have blinders on. Obviously, you know what people are talking about, what the fans are saying. You're ranked number nine in the country. I mean, we know it's there. We just uh, we again we focus on the next game at hand. We just take it one by one because if you look over a game, it's, we're in the SEC. It's easy to to uh, fall and lose one. So we're just working on each game at, as it comes and wh however it falls, it should play out. I know your head's probably spinning preparing for two sides of the ball, but what have you seen offensively on tape from Auburn that, that you guys are preparing for? Uh, I feel like they're a good physical team on defense. You know, they uh, play four down. So just um, being able to, to run our routes and run the ball, I feel like we'll be successful. There probably aren't too many guys left in this receiving core who played at Jordan Hare a couple of years ago. So just kind of what sort of advice or what sort of memories do you have uh, to share with your teammates for that? Man, it's a, you talking about like their stadium? Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a crazy experience. I remember that game, it was kind of cold, but it, it is a good, a crazy experience to be out there.